It is June 21st, and that means it's our sun's day in the sun. It's the summer solstice, the day we get the most amount of daylight. Not only is it the solstice, it's the beginning of more than a year of ultra rare solar activity. Some good, some threatening. Brian Hackney maps it all out, starting in a spot where we've seen solar activity on this day since prehistoric times. 6,000 people gathered today at the stones that have stood for 5,000 years at Stonehenge, a monument aligned towards sunrise on the summer solstice. Corinna, have you ever been to Stonehenge? No. At my college, there was a group of buildings that were called Stonehenge. <laughs> Karina Alden is with NASA Goddard Space Flight Center with this headline. Today is the longest day of the year, so it is when the Earth's tilt is directed 23 and a half degrees directly towards the sun in the northern hemisphere. And at this point in the sun's orbit, the Bay Area had 14 hours and 47 minutes of daylight, the most of the year. And the sun is the literal star of the show for the next 18 months. And we're focusing around a couple of special events, starting with an annular solar eclipse. Meanwhile, in April of 2024, we'll have the total solar eclipse, which is when the moon completely covers the solar disk. <laughs> Crazy thing I've ever seen. That was amazing. That was absolutely I'm at a loss for words. Make your plans now, seriously, to be in the path of the eclipse, either for the annular in October, or much better, the total eclipse of April 2024. And this ends in December of 2024 with the closest approach of the Parker Solar Probe giving us incredibly new information about our very own star. This all happens as the sun approaches the peak of its 11-year solar cycle, a time when it can throw off massive solar flares. And in our case, when it reaches the Earth, it can disrupt our communications. God forbid we get this enormous, you know, flare that uh, knocks out the power grids because that's, that's like your worst case scenario. That's no small thing. A huge flare in 1967 directed toward Earth knocked out military radar and almost triggered nuclear war. These days it could, maybe briefly, maybe not, wipe out the internet. As for ancient recorders of the solstice, they would be completely unaffected. Stay tuned for a big year for the sun.